to take good sir do you even need to ask man i will take the terran in the top right. left that's fair coming out for his clan a fire needs to win this match point here uh it is ash aiden ash aiden ash from now on i guess because they ash. they okayed it right they okayed ash as a nickname ash is good okay. i have seen it official on the chat we're calling him ash all right so our d life player in the bottom right hand corner is protoss red and it is annihilator i like their little logo too both teams have cool little logos it's pretty awesome yeah daily life makes me pretty happy yeah it's pretty cool like how can you not be happy when you see that little logo it's true man very, very and true. they both have websites too. I'll throw them up again at the end. Um, oh shit! I actually had another announcement I wanted to do too, but now I don't remember it. Of course. Oh well. Nice, good intro to that. Bro. Yeah, it'll come to me. That was a good segue. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. All right. So, both players taking the expansion. We're not going to see any crazy like one base all in. So that's pretty cool to see. Yep. STS, what's up? Welcome. I don't think I've seen you before. Um, yeah, man. Who are you here to root for? Yes, yeah, he is know, their man. clan leader. Okay. We cool. are on match point right now, so let us know who you want to win. Yeah, I think we have pretty equal representation in here. I've seen cheerleaders for both clans, so I think we got them both in here. That's good to see. Sometimes it's like one-sided, and we have to have like our admins cheer for one team, and it's always sad to see, but both clans were able to bring out uh, support this time. It's pretty cool. Yep. Pretty cool. Always nice to see people showing up cheering for their team, man. Yep. So, Annihilator just kind of bringing out uh, one gateway so far. Wants to get on Warp Gate as he gets his uh, Nexus. Meanwhile, Ash go just pick it up. One, uh, two barracks. Actually, three barracks. I take that back. Sorry. Uh, I thought that was a factory. But three barracks, and he uh, is grabbing his CC. The Observer was not just AFK, I promise. Sorry, I had to let my dog out. We're back. No one panic. I figured it was a good time. Yeah, we're done, man. If you're going to do it, might as well do it at the beginning of the game when absolutely nothing is going on. Yeah, I was going to say, what do we got to talk about now? Because it looks like we're going to have a little bit of time to kill. Uh, but yeah, we got a bunch of people in here for A-Fire for sure. Yeah. Show Taren production. Good scout around here. Um <clears throat> What's he doing? He's, Just checking for proxy his... bullshit, pretty much. Yeah, if you check his vision, he should, you know, he's got a good amount at his third, and then he also went down uh, from his base too. So just making sure there's no proxies or anything like that going on. STS Asian, I guess. Thank you for the follow, man. We definitely appreciate it. So thank you guys for coming out and supporting your clans. Thank you guys for supporting the Nidus and all that other good shit that we're supposed to say all the time. Yep, yep. So it looks like uh... <laughs> it's going with the ban. <laughs> uh, we got an Annihilator fan, another Annihilator fan, A Fire, Tasso P, just showing up to say it. Yeah, um, I like throwing that in randomly every now and then too, so I totally support that one. Yep, so it looks like Tass is moving on to the third, <laughs> feeling pretty comfortable with where they are yes. at. Did you see that? I root for Deleted Link. Man, Deleted Link is OP. I hear they're going to nerf Deleted link, link next season. Oh, yeah, man. If you guys could just spam about that shit. link in every channel you go to until people are just like, what the hell is it? Well, it's probably going to get you guys banned. You probably don't want to do that. I'm going to be honest with you. No, but in all seriousness. Safe to spam here, but. In all seriousness, did we figure out if it was Revlobot deleting or Vivbot? Do we know even that much? Or does it get deleted before it even says? Um, That'd be, be helpful. You, it Vivbot is deleting its own links. So I'm having a hard time believing Oh, so it's a Twitch I, setting. Okay. Well, we'll figure it's it either, out. It's either Twitch, Revlo, or, or Vibbot. And we will check it after this and make sure that for tomorrow's tournament cast, uh, that is not not the case. Yeah. So Annihilator are going to get in here with this Observer and see basically everything from Ash. So that was a very good scout. Uh, he's going to see that the starport isn't even down yet. Okay. As I say that, it comes down. So yep. that's good. So does he know about this observer here? Because this is, I mean, this is money, man. Yeah. You, you said it right. He sees basically everything. Like, so what the starport's going down, exactly how many Marines. I mean, those Marines could be down at the main wall there, uh, and he wouldn't have seen exa the exact number of troops. But as it stands, he does know exactly what is coming at him. Uh, yeah. And he's getting, Jesus, I just, like, had a hard time with that one there. Goes ahead and gets his units <laughs> you at You can the do ramp. it. 
I know. I like had to back up. I knew you had it many times, dude. Like English is really hard sometimes. All right, so a ridiculous amount of upgrades all timed out very well together. We got stem coming down, combat shields coming down, and plus one. So it looks like he's doing a little bit of a like I don't know what is this man? You play Terran? Is this a timing of some sorts? I'm gonna laugh if it's like a popular timing that I just don't know about, but. What, I mean, we don't see a third down, so I imagine with these two medevacs, there's going to be some sort of pressure that comes out. Uh, yeah. We do see, I imagine this is going to time up very nicely with plus one there, uh, as that's about three quarters the way done. Um, so we'll have to see. These two medevacs are kind of the key to this build, though, yeah. uh, as they're going to be able to keep the bio alive and, and heal them. Yep. As long as they keep the deleted links alive, we'll be okay. Uh, but we got a bit of a push out coming out. We'll follow that for now uh, from Ash. We'll see where he heads. <laughs> did the observer see all this shit move out, though? I mean, it had to have to some degree, at least down the ramp. But did it see it move it across the map? It's, it probably saw those medevacs. And it, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't think he saw the main army uh, move out. But he probably, after seeing those medevacs, assumes that it's going to be a drop. Yeah. Uh, and we see him kind of warping in more units now. And he does have that pylon down on the bottom left. Yeah, that's what uh, I was just going to say was his pylon is money. And it's going to be, it's going to do its job and definitely see it, so... Oh man, I'm loving the deleted links, guys. Keep it up. By the way, props <laughs> to Red Army for the here's how to fix the issue uh, with the deleted link that almost juked me. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it. no, I'll go watch that. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, it looks like, man, Bio coming up here and really carving through Protoss. Uh, needs to get his footing back. This Photon Overcharge should help him with that. Ooh, yeah, that Photon Overcharge saved the day right there, man. That was starting to be really bad, but he's able to pick up and load up and come up here into the main. So he's going to be able to do a little bit of damage up here, too, it looks like. Yep, and no photon overcharge able to go down as of yet. Is he gonna lose the mothership core? Oh man, he yep. does. He finally got it. Through these units, since they take more damage as they are warping in here, just getting every single thing they can. He's gonna boost out. Oh Gets yeah, away. I hate this as a Zerg man. This is like a Zerg F2 user's worst nightmare right here. He's gonna come down, load down here on the bottom, and just keep trying to pull him in between the two bases. Voice crack and all. Yeah, man, it's not good. That shit happens, you know. Yeah, we've been talking for, what, like two hours nonstop now? But, yeah, he's going to be able to push him away, though. But how much damage did he get done? There's only a six worker count difference, so I didn't, I wasn't keeping track of game hard. It looks like we got four now. I don't know if that what was this, all of them. What this is really allowing, as he's going to pick up even more probes here, is this, keep, this is keeping Protoss on his side of the map. Uh, Terran has a good, you know, idea of what's going on, a good scout. This Liberator should help. But it really just allowed this third base to go up uh, and start getting droned. Yeah, definitely. This push might do some damage here. Protoss has a pretty decent backbone of that army with the Immortals. But um, Ash just doing a really good job of staying on Protoss' side of the map while keeping his macro up. Yeah, for sure. And now this uh, Liberator joins the party too. So we'll see how he goes. He's going to choose to take the fight now. Uh, pushes up the ramp. Oh, shit. I forgot we yeah. couldn't get the pylon overcharge yet because I don't think he has enough yet. So, so There's going to be even more medevacs coming in here. Uh, there it up is. Adepts. Yeah. Photon overcharge. He's gonna go for the warp prism and he gets it. Uh, doesn't even get the uh, <clears throat> liberator there, so taking significant damage from just trying to get that. Uh, he's got to pick up and fly back uh, to the safety of his liberator, though. Yep. It looks like he, he may just back out entirely. Yeah, I don't think he wants to fight that. And now with all these stalkers, they're gonna be able to blink around and start picking off these medivacs. So he's got to be careful uh, from here on out. Yep. But so, he's got yep. a lot of uh, units joining this fight now. A bunch of mines and marauders and shit. I mean. Protoss does not have an observer over his arm right now. Oh, and shit. the Widow Mines are going to walk up and get taken out. Okay. So, <laughs> We're good. Ideal. Yep. <laughs> the thing that I just said no longer matters. Yeah, uh, so, be... all those Immortals get carved up, man. Focus Fire there, really nice. Uh, he's going to have to deal with these Adepts before. I'd like to see him take out that Immortal, man, that's free. Oh. But he's going to carve through this either way, man. The amount of Medivacs in the sky are just going to allow him to take too good of trades against Protoss. And I think this is it. GG yep. from Annihilator. GG is and a fire gaming will take it ah oh, we got some manor meals i forgot to pull the probes back to minerals on main for like two minutes damn oh god that'll, damn. yeah that'll do it i mean that'll do it a fire takes the clan war very well played they came down from i think three one or some shit i mean don't ask me to recall previous events but that they was came, very yeah, well played so, so. Uh, a fire went up 3-1 and then D life came back bringing it 3-3 but a fire manages to win the last game yeah for sure uh so let's see i'm gonna play their media do you got anything that you want to plug or anything real quick or are you good to go uh, 
I'll tell you what, just go ahead and play their media. Let me know when they're done because I can't obviously see it. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the tournament and we'll, okay. you know, do some plugs and we'll be out. All right. So the first thing I'm going to put up is this uh, little bullshit graphic I made. But the important thing here is the two clans, Daily Life Esports and Ashfire Gaming. Thank you guys.